Christmas in September. Oh, that's a big bucket. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Fingers crossed the fittings I have. Quick Connects fit the ends of the fittings they gave for this bucket. All right, let's see. Moment of truth here. Let's see, left side gets its fitting. Let me get that cap out. Uh, left side hose is right here. Oh, I hope this fits. Oh, it looks like the right thread. Oh, is it? Yes! Hallelujah. At least I can try it. We kind of guessed on the length. We'll make sure the other one fits now. On a side note, I'm glad I didn't have to go far. I wasn't paying attention. Whoopsies! How's that, Officer Hoover? Is that... I didn't have any uh, edge protectors on there. Well, don't need to lose those. Those are valuable. All right, I can't pry that out one-handed. All right. Let's go put our tilt bucket on. I'm ready. I'm going to get those khakis dirty. <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem, huh? You got to get the salesman out here to get dirty. I'll get it for you, Nelson. Uh, we've got them crossed. So I was kind of guessing on the hose length. That's why it's a little long. But uh, I can... I can have those, I can take them off right there and have them trimmed down and new ends put on them. But I just wanted to um, get it, try it out, and then try it in all the ranges. All right, so now we're diverting the, I've still got to cut that off, correct? Yes. All right, we're, so we're turning the flow on to the bucket. We were, there we go. And now I've got to turn these valves and that'll cut the flow off to the thumb 
and we'll use the same hydraulic that the thumb will use that the thumb uses now will be diverted to run the grading bucket let me get my wrench real quick and you turn it like that and that cuts the valve off should be good to go now right yep let's try it out So I was playing around with it a little bit, getting the feel for everything. We actually took these hoses and pulled them past these rings right here. Like I said, I can probably cut that much out, but I wanted them long uh, until I got it on the machine just to see how they needed to be ran. Uh, it's very easy to cut those off, but heck, I might leave them like that if they stay in those rings. But this is the AMI 66 inch cleanup bucket tilt it does 45 degrees each way uh, it has the hydraulic cylinders on it the they also make one with the rotary motor that'll do pretty close to 180 but uh, I figured this one was gonna work best for me just for a cost standpoint and let me fold it down and we'll look at the capacities on it real quick it's a it's a stout bucket Good look at the let's see what it says 1.25 uh, 1.25 cubic yard when it says 1.25 that means if when it's level right so if it's heaped up we're probably looking at yard and a half yard and three quarters a lot it's easy and it weighs 2007 or 2073 pounds a big bucket <clears throat> if I wanted something for you know since I got the quick coupler being able to do all my finished grade work slopes on ponds just general cleanup I think it's gonna be a lot more efficient being able to use this bucket so that's why I decided to get one it's got a, refer, a, a removable cutting edge you can flip it around uh, just take out all those bolts it's going to take quite a while to wear off two inches of cutting edge, but uh, if you do, you can flip it around and use the other side. Alright, well, there's nothing left to do but uh, try it out now. Get it dirty. Alright, let's go 
try this bad boy out. I've got to dig a pond in here. Someone just take some of this dirt. Lay it over here. Make sure I don't make mistakes right there. It's like everything, you gotta gotta get a you kinda gotta get a feel for it. It'll definitely get a big scoop of dirt. Get it all heaped up. Yeah, that's a six foot tall pile of dirt. That's got to be every bit of two yards. Close to it. Would you like to stand beside it for a size reference? <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, that's a backhoe bucket. No, it's not. Now, Nelson's not six foot five either, so. <laughs> that's a pretty good sized scoop of dirt, though. That's got to be close to two yards, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. You can definitely tell it's out there, though. You won't be flinging way over the side there. But for cleaning up everything, it's going to work great. I'm excited. All right, well, that's enough for today. I'll get some more videos when I start digging the pond over here.